Okay, so in this demonstration we're going to create two linked objects in um, Max using physics. So what I'll do is I'll start off by creating a sort of a base box that something can sit on, and then I'll create perhaps another box over here that will act as a, um, <coughs> I guess a, a rod or a pin or something that's going to sit on top of this box. Okay. All right, and then I'll create a second box now that's going to be linked to that box. So now I'll create another box somewhere over here. Move that up into the correct position. So I'm switching to the moving mode here by pressing the W button and Q to select an object. And there we go. So the idea is now I'm going to have this object and that object connected and that's going to bounce on that. So to make that happen I'll go over to here and I'll make this a physical object I'll make that a static object so that's all good. And I can say add selected It'll take some time. Select this object and um, again press make physical select dynamic bridge body now I don't want this one to move around too much, so I'm going to up the mass here a bit. So and I can add this one as selected. And then again with this one, making it physical. And checking that it's dynamic. Give it a mass of 1, that's OK. Press add selected. So let's just test that out and see what it looks like. So, alright, looks OK. So now I'd like to combine these two objects together, link them together in some way. So I can go over here to this crater and choose this helper panel over here. And from my helpers, I choose the energy physics section and press joint. So now I can create a helper joint. So I'll go ahead and create that joint over here. Um, and let's move that into being around the area I'd like it to be. So it's in between those two objects. Now I can modify the parameters and the settings for the joint on this tab over here, the modify tab. So I can move up to here and select the constraints of what bodies connect to this joint. So I can connect it to that joint there, uh, that box over there, and then I'll connect it to the body over here, box number three. So now they're connected and I can set limits on how it will move uh, in its rotational degrees of freedom here, the two swing twist um, along the z-axis as well as y-axis in this example or lock or limit or free my translation so okay so now I can go to my physics section again and press add all physical objects wait for that to finish press the continuous simulation button and there we go we've got two objects that are connected to each other by that pivot. And again, if I want to export it, choose Collada and we're good to go.